Hello, Jose. Can you hear me? Oh, you're connecting to the audio. It's okay. Hi, Jose. Can you hear me? Good evening. Hi, Roxy. How are you? I'm fine. Yes. I'm here, finally in the class. Yeah, we missed you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. I couldn't. <laughs> I understand things happen. It's it's, yes. it's understandable. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I know. I know. But it was uh, unpredictable the situation here. Yeah, I I, I totally understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it happens, right? But mm -hmm. it's okay. Yeah, sometimes we want to, but we can't. So it's okay. Yes. yes. It's okay. But we are here, and I I read a message that on Friday we are going to finish the unit. Uh, well, tomorrow. this is our last week. Uh -huh. This is our last week of class because remember that it's only uh, four weeks, 16 uh -huh. days, and yes. this is the last one. Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. the last one. So um, we yeah. finish class tomorrow, oh, like tomorrow. Our, okay. our virtual classes, like our online classes. Okay. We finish them tomorrow. And after that, um, you just have Friday to finish what's on the platform. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, I, I finished the platform. Oh, good. I, I already finished. Excellent. Okay. Any problems? No, 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 no. I just uh, was uh, practicing again for memorizing some structure, grammar structure, but it's, it's, I, I, I could to complete everything. Okay, did you have any problems with any parts? Uh, at, the, at the end, yes, but I asked for some answers because it was very different, the answers that I, I thought, but uh, people in, in the Inglés Corporativo helped me to, to, co to correct the mistakes. A few, few sentences. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, and you understood. You understood yes. the, mm -hmm. why those are the the why they're the correct answers. Yes. Okay. It's, good. Sometimes gives two answers. Uh, the platform. So it's, it's interesting to know what answer is uh, could be be easier, useful, uh -huh. or used in the sentence. That's okay. Okay, okay, so you so you did understand the sentences, the, the answers, because like I said last time, what's important is not just to finish, but to understand. Yes, in, in uh, indeed, <laughs> using that word, I was to making another exercise because I was uh, searching in internet some exercises related with the, some topics. Uh-huh for understanding some some exercise that I didn't understand. But at the end, yes, I, I couldn't finish uh, uh, checking the grammar structure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, excellent. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's what I'm, 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 I'm interested in, right? That mm -hmm. you were able to, to do that. Okay, good. Yeah, thank you. Excellent. Um, okay, uh, Grace, how are you, Grace? Hi, teacher. Hi, Roxy. Um, I'm fine. I'm not bad. And you? Um, not bad. Not bad at all. 
um, just, you know, hanging in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, we're almost about to finish. Great. So how are you doing there with the platform? Well, um, I haven't finished uh, all yet, but um, maybe about the 90, 95%, I just have some issues with um, a couple of questions in the one in the uh, final exam and the other one in the in the fourth section. So uh, those are my, uh, my questions in, that are incomplete by now. Okay, uh, could you tell me, could you tell me exactly which are the sections there? What are the, the, the numbers of the sections that we can yes. talk with? Uh, well, the one is in the final exam, the letter C, um, and then the number, um, the number two, and the number five. Okay, let's check that out. Um, okay, so you said the final exam, letter C, yeah. letter C, and the number two and five. Two and five. Okay. Uh, what seems to be the problem? Because that's that's the one. If I'm not mistaken, that's the one with the type questions, right? Yes, it is. Um, well, uh, for example, in the second one, uh, it seems like kids spend um, way too much, ma too much time playing computer games. Um, the tab question that I use is, don't they? But it's wrong. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. If can, maybe can you repeat didn't. again what the sentence is? The sentence is, um, it seems like kids spend way too much time playing computer games. It seems, okay. All right, good. So, the okay, the auxiliary is, is correct. It's the auxiliary is don't, you're absolutely right about that. Now, what is the subject of that sentence? Mm. What is the subject? I think the kids. Okay, the subject goes before the verb. Mm, yeah, because um, the kids are spent. What's the verb? Spend? No. Um, playing computer games? No. I'm going to, okay, I, I'm going to make it even easier for you. Uh, subjects mm -hmm. are usually at the beginning of the sentence. It seems, but I don't think that that is the verb or really is that because um, I I was looking at those words like in, as when you said often, for example, or sometimes or something like that, I was uh, making uh, that interpretation of the, it seems but uh no it seems is okay it it seems means like in spanish parece que mm -hmm. right so uh what is the verb parecer in english it seems seems good exactly it seems all right so if that is the verb um then what's the subject? The subject is usually before the verb. It. Exactly. So when you're making the tag question, you're going to be using don't because uh, seems is in the simple present. But the subject is going to be. It. Exactly. Okay, so should be um, that the question doesn't it? Very good. Exactly. exactly. Yes. That's the answer. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. 
And then the, the, the number five teacher is, it says, I hate getting spams. I was using, uh, don't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was actually uh, one of the questions that um, I think it was Jesus had. And I told her that I was gonna look into that. So I looked into it and I realized what the problem was. The thing is that um, we are, if we, if we be, if we are like um, logical, let's say, okay, and you say, it, it, think about it in Spanish, okay? I'm gonna make, I'm going, to, I'm going to say it to you in Spanish so you understand what I'm saying. If I say to you, eh, a mí, a mí no, oh, uh, yo odio el recibir correos no deseados. Eh, let, let's say that, would it be logical to say, yo odio recibir co correos no deseados, ¿verdad? Mm. It doesn't really make sense, right? Because when you want to say, when you say verdad, it's because you want, you want the person to say that it's true. But obviously, you, the person can tell you that if you love it, or you hate it, or you like it, or you dislike it. Right. So logically, it doesn't make sense. Like the con, like mm -hmm. the actual connotation doesn't. It doesn't make sense. So what's more, what makes more sense is to say something like, "Yo odio recibir correos no deseados." También. Don't you? No. Uh -huh. It would. It would be more like about like you want the person to agree with you. Uh, and so in, in this case, it would be something like, um, no te pasa a ti or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. so Don't you? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would be it. Mm -hmm. okay. Which makes it, yeah. it's, it's more of a syntax kind of mm -hmm. uh, problem there. Yeah. It's really like not more of a, gra it's not grammatically wrong. It, like grammatically speaking, it's correct, but it doesn't make sense. Okay. Okay. So okay. you would say, "Don't you?" Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of like when you when you ask a question like, um, "Do you work?" And you say, "Yes, I do." Yes, I do. Right? Not yes, you do. Right? Even though the question is with you, right? So it's kind of the same kind of idea there. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah. is that is that clear, Grace? Um, uh, I got another one, but let me check because. Okay, not a problem. Let me right. look for it. Um, Daniel, I I haven't um I haven't done it on purpose. I haven't been uh, ignoring you on purpose. I just hadn't had the opportunity of saying hi. How are you? Hello, good teacher. I'm fine, thank you. Good. I'm happy to hear that. I I have a. How do you say disculpa? Uh, apology. An apology. Uh -huh. Apology about yesterday because I wasn't uh, concentrating during this class because I have a little, a little difficult with uh, the health of my mom. So your your mom's health? My mom health. Yes. Oh wow! Is she okay? Uh, yes, is uh, maybe. One hour, he left the kirofano. Kirofan. Oh, the the um the operating he, room. He had a se, se, uh, a surgery. A surgery. She surgery. left the operating room. Operating room. Yeah, that the kirofano is operating room. Uh, operating. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> that. So I yesterday I was very. Yeah, no, I, I, I totally worry. understand, Daniel. Don't worry. It's but okay. this was about the, the vesicula. Gallbladder. Gallbladder. Mm -hmm. About that. The gallbladder. Oh, okay. Okay. Is she okay now? Yes, she's right. No, once hour maybe ago, mm -hmm. she, she left the operator room. 
but but she's you okay. have received information about her and she's okay yes yes okay. she's good. my 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 sister is with her okay okay good 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 well i i i'm sorry that you're that you know you're going through this um you know family problem I, yes yes I, I, you know. yeah i i I'm really sorry about that, but I really do appreciate your interest um, in the class that you are connecting, even though you're having all of these situations, these issues. I um, So I really, really appreciate that, Daniel. Okay, so thank you very much. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you to you. Mm -hmm. All right, um, Ceci, how are you? The microphone, Sassy. You got to turn on. Bye, bye. Okay, good. Bye. Good evening. Good evening, Sassy. Good evening. Good How evening. are you? Fine, thanks. Good. I'm happy to hear that. Okay. Um, and Nuvia, we also have Nuvia that just connected. How are you, Nuvia? I am very good, teacher. Good. Thank you. I'm Thank happy you. to hear that. Okay, excellent. And Jose is back. Um, Jose was a, was uh, connected at the beginning of the class. And did you have connection problems, Jose? Hi, teacher. Yes, I just I just connecting again. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that you connected and you disconnected. So I imagine that you were having some connection issues there. But it's okay. Thank you. Yeah, guys this yeah, thank you for um, for trying to connect back. Excellent. Okay, so guys, um, yes, as you receive the um, the message in the WhatsApp group, we have until Friday to finish the platform uh, because remember this is this is our last week. This is actually our second to last class imagine so so quickly i can't believe it like four four weeks have already gone by so quickly so um this is our second to last uh, day and you basically have one more day after the class to finish the platform um so right now i want you guys to tell me if there are any problems that you guys are having with the platform any exercises that you want me to help you with. Remember, I like I've told you this before, I don't want you just um, finishing it off and asking for answers just to complete it, right? Because the idea is to understand it, right? So uh, if you if you have any problems, now's the moment that I can help you with so, I, so you can understand it better. Do you guys have any questions? Anything you want to ask me? I have another question, teacher. The last one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, well, in the section number four, in the 4.5, which is a listening exercise, I um, I couldn't find the appropriate uh, occupation for Alex because uh, I th he's like a, a businessman and like an entrepreneur, and I try um, with both uh, words, but um, I'm, it's grown for me. Uh, so I don't know if there any other way to say uh, that he owns uh, his business. Um, okay. I don't know well, how to say you... that occupation. Could you repeat what, what number that was? It is the 4.5, section 4. 4.5 and, and the number two. How that one? Which is Daniel? Do you have that same <laughs> question, Daniel? Yes, I, 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 yes, I, I tried a lot with that occupation and somebody helped me, but just I can listen business owner, but the complete uh -huh. occupation is a small business owner. Um, okay, let yes. me try. Mm -hmm. 
that is entre, 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 entrepreneur. Okay. Yeah, uh, actually you call, you pronounce it entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Um, entrepreneur. It's because that is actually a French word. It's it, English, remember, has uh, borrowed many words from different languages. And one of those languages that it's very common is French. So um, that's a French word, and that's why you, you pronounce it on en, entrepreneur. Entre mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Everybody understands what an entrepreneur is? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm still I'm still trying to open up there the section four point. You said four point five, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, since I haven't actually seen that section, uh, I really don't know what are what are the options that that are, are given. So let me just check what options they give us. For some reason, it doesn't want to open up. Okay. Um, in the meantime, anybody else have another question? I have a question, teacher. The same the yesterday. The the ex the final exam. The little the little C. In the don't I? Yeah, um, I think you were not here, Sissy, when we were uh, discussing that that question. Um, what I was explaining with that one is that, grammatically speaking, it's not incorrect. It's okay to say don't I, grammatically speaking, but in the syntax, it doesn't really make sense because it's like when you say when you say to someone. Eh, yo odio el recibir correos uh, donde cielos, ¿verdad? That doesn't really make sense also, because I can't tell you what you hate or what you like. I, I can't do that, right? It's not, it doesn't make sense, yeah? So what makes more sense is for me to be asking you to agree with me. So I would say something like, eh, like, um, uh, yo odio el recibir correos no deseados. Eh, eh, ¿Tú también? Something like that, right? So it's the same idea here. Uh, in this case, it would not be do, uh, don't I. It would be don't. Ceci, don't what? Don't, don't, don't you. Exactly. Don't you. Okay. Don't you. Mm -hmm. Don't you. That okay. would be. I try. Yeah. So if, if you write right, don't you, it would, it should be able to, to show that the answer correctly. Okay. Okay. Um, any other questions that you guys have? Now is the moment to bombard me with questions. Now that you have me on uh, the virtual class. Yeah. Um, okay, so Grace, uh, what I I just got the I just got it to open up, and yes, um, the answer seems to be 
um, that it can either be that, uh, so Alex, um, basically Alex is a business owner, but you just have to specify that is a small business, not that it's a big business. Yeah, that's all. Okay, Those thank you, teacher. Black. Yeah, you're welcome. So it's just, it's just a matter of being very specific. Yeah, okay. Any other, any other questions? So far so good? Okay, remember you only basically have three days left or better than three nights, right? Tonight, uh, Thursday and Friday and that's it. So anything I can help you with? Go ahead and ask me now. No? Okay. All right, guys, in that case, what we're going to do, um, I'm actually going to be, um, I'm going to be explaining a little bit. Yesterday, uh, we started, we looked at, um, at reduced relative clauses, and I was showing you that it's actually a lot easier than you probably think. It, if you guys were not um, here in the class, you can just watch the video there. Um, and you will notice that it's actually very straightforward. It's nothing very complicated. All you gotta do, um, as I was telling the class, are three basic steps. Let's see if you guys remember what the steps were. Okay, so we're gonna start with, um, I know Grace was here yesterday. So Grace, can you tell us the first rule? The first step we gotta take? Um, we have to, um, let me see, take off the auxiliary. I don't know if it is the first, but, um, <laughs> but we have to do that. Okay, L let's, let's start with the one that is general for all of it. Independent of what it is, what do we always do? What do we have to eliminate? We have to eliminate the uh, pronoun, uh, but I... Uh, Relative pr pronoun. Very yeah. good, Grace. Excellent. <laughs> okay. So the very first good. Okay. Bravo, Grace. Excellent. Okay. Good. So the first thing you got to do is eliminate the relative pronoun, right? So you're going to eliminate who, that, or which. Okay. Good. Second thing you have to do, the second step. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, Ceci, were you here last yesterday? Yes, right? Okay. Yes. The Tell second, me, Ceci. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead, Ceci. The second is the verb to be. Good. What do you have to do with the verb to be? Uh, is? Yes, but what do you do with the verb to be? The eliminate. Good. Okay. So you eliminate the verb to be. If a verb to be exists, right? Only if it exists. If it doesn't exist, don't. You know, don't eliminate it because it's not there. But um, but if it exists, then eliminate it. And the third thing we got to do, um, let's see, Barbara. I know Barbara was was uh, in class yesterday. Yes, I do. Yes, I was. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us, Barbara, what the last the last rule was? The last rule was. Mm -hmm. There were three rules, right? The last rule, number three. The ing, the verb was, I don't remember. No, so no, no. Well. You, yes, you, I think you got it. Just, can you remind me again? Uh -huh. uh, the, the form of the verb, it has to be in ing form. Okay, good. If it's any other verb that is not the verb to be, you have to put in the ing form or what we know as the gerund, right? Okay, so that's it. Very good, excellent. Thank you very much, Barbara. Excellent. Thank you. All right, very good. Okay, so that's the, that's the rule that we were looking at. Now, um, 
what I want to do is to review a little bit about uh, relative clauses because there is a section in the um, there is a section in the um, in the platform that is going to be talking about well section four that's going to be talking a little bit about the a, a, a specific type of relative clause. So, can everybody see that? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. So let's talk about types of relative clauses. Basically, relative clauses there are three functions. Let's say. Okay. Um, so the first one is. Uh, okay. I'm gonna get you guys to help me with this one. Okay, let's start with Daniel. Can you help me with the first type? Sure. Types of relative clauses. Defining or identifying. Identifying. A vet is a person that who treats sick animals. Mm -hmm. That's the movie. That's which I saw. Good. Thank you very much, Daniel. Okay. So the first type of a relative clause is a type that is going to define or identify the person, the, the, the noun. Okay. For example, in this case, we have a vet is a person that are who treats sick animals. This part here that I have in between these um, parentheses, that's the part that is a relative clause. This relative clause in this case is um it's defining the, the the person right so it's still it's giving me a definition of what kind of person it is okay so if it is a person that treats sick animals or if it is a person who treats sick, sick animals so um i'm identifying the type of person it is the other one is um the, like the second sentence it is identifying Okay, so that's the movie that I saw, or that's the movie which I saw. In this case, we are identifying which movie we're talking about. There are many movies, so what movie? Well, it's the movie that I saw, that movie. Okay, and like I said, in this case, the thing that is in, in parenthesis is the relative clause. Okay, all right, is that clear for everybody? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right, let's see who hasn't helped me yet. Uh, Jose, Jose, could you please read the second function? Okay, giving extra information. My brother who lives in Miami has a Corvette. This car which I borrowed from my dad run fast. Good, excellent. Okay, thank you very much, Jose. So in, in this one, if you notice the relative clause is important for the sentence to make sense. If I just say a vet is a person, well, that really doesn't make, I mean, it's a sentence, but it really doesn't say anything. If I just say that's the movie, then it's incomplete. So for, for the sentences to make sense or be complete, I need to have the relative clause. But in this one, the information is just extra. It's not necessary. It's not essential for this information for the sentence. The sentence can live on its own. I could say my brother has a Corvette and the sentence is fine. It's complete. I can say this car runs fast and the sentence is complete. It makes sense. So this part here, which is the relative clause right here, is just giving me extra information. Okay. Here, it's giving me extra information. This car, which I borrowed from my dad, runs fast. So this part here, uh, I'm describing the my dad, sorry, my, sorry, my car, 
Um, and here I'm describing my brother. And so I'm just giving you extra information about my brother and I'm giving you extra information about the car. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Good. All right. And the last one is commenting on the whole main clause. Could you read that for me, Ro Roxy? Yes. Commenting on the whole main clause. My brother is dating an older woman, which I don't have any problem with. He bought another house in Beverly Hills which doesn't make sense because he already had two there. Okay, thank you very much, Roxy. Okay. okay, now my question for this sentence is, when I, the we know the relative clause is over here, it's in parentheses, right? So this relative clause, is it giving information about my brother? About the older woman? Or about the fact that he's dating the older woman. The fact the that older woman. Is, mm -hmm. Yeah, the fact that he's dating an older woman. I'm not giving. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling you about my brother. Not saying anything about my brother. I'm not saying about the old anything about the older woman. I'm just saying about that fact. The whole idea of my brother dating an older woman. That. I don't have a problem with. The same thing here, which doesn't make sense because he'll, he already ha had two there. Is that information, um, is that giving me uh, or commenting on he, on the house or Beverly Hills or the whole idea that he bought another house in Beverly Hills? Another house in Beverly Hills? Yeah, he's commenting on the whole idea that he bought another house in Beverly Hills, another. right? So it's like, why do you need another house? Why do you need to buy another house in that area? Why, why not buy in another area? You already have two there, okay? So that, that, that is what we're commenting about. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, is everything clear for you guys? It's clear. Yes, it is clear. Okay. Okay, good. So, 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 so. So, so, Daniel. Okay. Tell me, Daniel, why is it so, so? What's what's not clear about it? No, it's okay, teacher. It's okay. Maybe when I. Like Ochata. So, uh huh. <laughs> Okay. Maybe when I saw or I check another sentence is like okay. I, yeah, exactly, and that's actually what I'm going to be doing right now. In the next, okay. So in the next one here, I have some more sentences, um, so that you can see it. Uh, I'll just read it quickly. Commenting on the whole main clause, we have. For example, um, we have, I have three cats, which means that there's a lot of cat fur on my clothes. So I'm here, I'm not commenting, uh, I'm not I'm giving information about I, I'm not giving information about the cats, I'm giving information about the fact that, the fact that I have three cats, okay? So all of this part here, is the relative clause that is commenting on everything here, on the whole idea. How would you say this in Spanish? The sentence. Uh, Barbara, I... I think that you were going to say something, but we can't hear you right now. Do you want to try again? Okay. Yes, please. Um, 
in Spanish, the whole sentence? Yeah, uh -huh, or the whole sentence. only the first? Oh. No, everything over okay. here. This, this part. Yeah. Uh -huh. este, tengo tres gatos, lo que significa que usualmente tengo, hay bastante eh, pelo o eh, pelusa en mi ropa. Exactly, very good. Very good. That's the idea. Exactly. Eh, lo cual significa. No es lo cual significa. Good. Excellent. All right. The next one is my roommate is a slob, which is why I want to get my own apartment. Do you guys understand what a slob is? Aragón. Like a lazy. It's more than that. More than lazy. <laughs> uh, it, it, yes, it involves More being again. lazy, but it's uh -huh. not just being lazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's more than, than being lazy. It's the fact that you're so lazy that you do not clean up after yourself. Sorry. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. So the person is so lazy that they don't, they, they use things and they don't uh, clean up after themselves. They leave all the mess there. That's a slob. That's why that he want or she want <laughs> uh, a no apartment. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think anybody would, would feel that way, right? Okay, exactly. So um, so the, the person is commenting on the whole, this is commenting on the whole idea that my roommate is a slob, okay? So how would you say that in Spanish? Mm -hmm. May I try? Yeah, go ahead, Daniel. Mi compañero es un aragán, lo cual es, por, por lo cual eh, yo quiero tener mi propio apartamento. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's more, and it's not, well, how do you say roommate in Spanish? Compañero de cuarto. Cuarto. Uh -huh. El, mi compañero de cuarto, exactly. Yeah, it's a roommate. Okay. Yeah, so mi compañero de cuarto is, um, it's more than just un aragán, because to get in your, like, if you're if your partner was just lazy, I don't think that that it would be a problem. Why you wouldn't need it to get a new apartment? But it's not just about being at a gun. It's como es un um almost like eh, I don't know how would you say that in Spanish? Como una persona descuidada de sí mismo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Cómodo. Ajá, co un cochino. No sé. Ay, no. <laughs> Ajá, descuidado, cochino. The somebody that, that yeah, they, they, um, they don't clean after themselves, okay? Ni se, ni se de bañar. Ay, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Could be. It's nasty. <laughs> yeah. Ajá. No kidding. <laughs> Exactly. Okay. All right. Good. So you get, you understand why then, right? Uh, so when you say here, like, which is why, is um, it would be something like por lo cual, right? Yo quiero conseguir mi propio apartamento, right? O por la razón que yo quiero. Uh -huh. Por la razón cual yo quiero conseguir mi, mi propio apartamento. Okay, and the next one is, um, can, okay, so the next one says, my friend John has just written a best-selling novel, which means that he will be getting a lot of money. Okay, so this part here is referring to the whole idea that my friend John has uh, written a best-selling novel. So it's not just, I'm not giving you just information about my friend John, and I'm not just giving them information about the novel, I'm giving information about the whole fact, or I'm commenting on what I think is going to happen because John has a best-selling novel, okay? 
All right, so how would you say this in Spanish? How would you say this? May I? Yeah, go ahead, Daniel. Mi amigo John ha escrito, o recién ha escrito, la mejor novela. La, la novela, no, la novela mejor vendida, lo cual significa que él tendrá bastante dinero. Mm -hmm. Very good. Ok, very good, yes. Um, yeah, very good. Best selling, how would you say best selling? In Spanish? Más vendida. La, la más vendida, uh -huh. very good. Um, o oh, con más éxitos de venta. Uh -huh. Usualmente da, también decimos como el best seller, nosotros en español decimos best seller. Yeah, that, uh -huh. that's, Significa um, como la, como algo, uh -huh, como una novela que, que ha tenido mucha venta. Yeah, exactly. Although that's more like a, what we call an anglicismo, right? But, but yeah, that's the idea. Uh, but yeah, uh, you, you guys get the idea. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, so does that make sense for you guys? Um, commenting yeah. on the whole main clause? Yeah, it's pretty clear for you guys? Yes, it's clear, it's clear, yes. Okay, good. Now, this, this is the function, okay? This is the function. This is the reason why we're using uh, this type. Now, in your platform, you're going to find these type of sentences, but under the, the idea of uh, non-defining relative clauses uh, with modifiers, I think it is. And that's how you're going to find it. But it's the same idea. That's just the name and the function is this, commenting on the whole main idea. Now, if you notice, what relative pronoun do we use when we're commenting on the whole main clause? Which. Exactly. We are going to use the word which. We're, ne we're never going to use who. We're never going to use that. We're going to only use which. And the reason is because what we're doing is we're commenting on the main clause. We're, com we're commenting on the situation. And the situation is a thing, not a person. Okay? That's why we can't use who. We can only use which. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay, wonderful. All right, so what I'm going to do right now, see if you really do understand it. Um, I'm going to get you guys to work in breakout rooms. Um, okay, um, I'm going to get you guys to work in breakout rooms. And I want what I'm going to uh, ask you to do is to make a conversation. Um, you're going to make a conversation. Mm. Yeah, sorry, you're going to make a conversation there um, uh, about uh, anything you want. But what I need you guys to do is make sure that in the conversation, you use at least three um, relative clauses where you are commenting on the whole main clause. Does that make sense? Okay, so create a conversation about anything you want, but you gotta make sure that you are commenting on the whole main clause. All right? Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start. Them. Okay.
Nubia, do you have any problems joining? Nubia, can you hear me? Nubia? Nubia, are you there? Nubia? Eliminate who uh, write books for the children. Um, I think and you uh, but the relative clause uh, does it have to be in the middle? Maria who writes uh books for kids is a good person do you have any questions for me girls uh, yes the if the relative class clause it has to be in the middle of the sentence right uh when you're commenting on the home and class it's going to be at the end actually because uh, we are commenting on everything that was said before. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So, let's see, for this example, it has to be in the middle. Maria, who writes books for kids, mm -hmm. is a very good person. Yeah, that would make sense. It's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay. And another example, uh, mm, <laughs> Carla, uh, the my sister-in-law is vacation at the Atlantic. Hi, teacher. Hi, Grace. What happened? I don't know. Um, I couldn't hear Nubia, and then I uh, just went out of the group. Then I enter again, uh, and I and she was here, but I can hear her. So uh, and now she's gone. Hi, uh, uh, Grace. You guys were having problems. <clears throat> to be honest, I am the one who was switching you from from one group to the other. The thing is um, that um, Nubia was stuck in the main room and, uh, uh, and then why. she didn't move. Like, and and I, I was calling her and I said, Nubia, can you hear me? You're having problems. And she wouldn't respond. So, and I saw that you were alone in the group. And, and so I said, okay, well, if Nubia is not responding, I'm going to move Grace to another, the other group. In that moment, yeah. I moved you uh, Nubia moved to group number three, so and then I had yeah. back. I I talk with her, but just like uh, maybe twenty seconds or something like that, and then I miss her. Maybe she's having trouble with the the sign or yeah. something like that. Okay. Well, anyways, it's time for us to go back to the main room, so I'm just gonna take you guys back. Okay. All right. Thank you, teacher. See ya. Yeah, see you soon. <laughs> 
Teacher, you are in mute. We can listen to you, teacher. Teacher, you are in mute. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, okay, so um, how did you guys feel using the the relative clauses at the end for, uh, to comment on the home mind idea? Um, no, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, were you able to do it? Good exercise. Teacher. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, we have to practice for no, for, for not forget. Not forget, yes. And that's what forget. we're going to do. Tomorrow we're going to practice more. Um, mm -hmm. We're actually going to start from the beginning of the class. Since you guys already understand what it is, it will be super useful for you guys to do it um, tomorrow, okay? So tomorrow we're going to mm -hmm. be practicing more and we're actually going to be presenting conversations, okay? Okay. So, um, yeah. That will be all. Um, I'm still waiting for you guys uh, to um, send me the information I told you guys about the tag questions. So if okay. anybody want to pra wants to practice, send me them and I will go ahead and, and check them and see if you guys um, are, doing, are doing it correctly or, or what, right? Okay, so that will be all for today, guys. Um, good Thank to you. see you. Okay. Anything you need, remember, oh, remember you only have Today, to, I said tonight, tomorrow, mm -hmm. and Friday. So please, I thank need you. you to work, work, work hard, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, guys, take care. Yes. See you tomorrow. Okay, everyone. Bye, teacher. Bye, guys. Gracias. You're welcome. <laughs>